we are here at the Four Species Marketplace in Jerusalem, in Hebrew known as Arba Minim. It is here that people come from all over to buy their Arba Minim, the Lulav, Etrog, Hadas, Ve'arava. You'd be surprised how picky people are when it comes to choosing the perfect Etrog. The first thing you need to do is a mitzvah, the things need to, need to look good. It's written in the Torah, Pri Etz Hadar. It looks to, first of all, the Etrog, the etrog is a very fine, uh, fine fruit. They check it has a, a nice shape, it, it, it doesn't have a, anything, a, a hone inside. So what would you say is the perfect etrog on this entire table? It, this is a beautiful etrog, it has a nice shape, it's a yellow color, it has a pitam, the top part is clean, it's a very nice etrog. And what are the prices of all of the etrogs? Are they all the same price? No, the more the, the shape of the etrog and the cleanliness makes, it, uh, makes the price more expensive. This etrog costs 80 shekel because it's clean and has a nice sh shape. People closely examine the species to make sure they are kosher. When choosing an etrog, for example, you must check the top of it to see if there is a black spot. If there is, then it's not kosher. Alulav has to be straight, closed at the top, and at least 30 centimeters. The arava needs to be 24 centimeters long, and the hadassim have to have three leaves coming out of each stem. The four species are used by observant Jews during prayer services for the duration of the Sukkot holiday. Uh, on the first day of Sukkot, we take the four species. One of the meanings of the four species is combine all the, all the uh, types of people in Israel. The etrog has a good taste and a, and a good uh, smell. It means a person that also does good, he does good, uh, good things. He also le he, he learns Torah. I mean, le the, the Torah mean is meaning the smell. It has a good taste, that's meaning the good things that he does, he does ma'asim tovim. That is the etrog. The hadassim have only good smell, it's only people that only learn Torah, they don't, do good, they don't, they don't go and do good things. And the arava is a person that doesn't, he doesn't do anything. He doesn't, he doesn't have a good smell, doesn't have a good taste. The four species are brought together in Sukkot as a reminder that every kind of Jew is unified under the Sukkah.